Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to merge two multiband rasters into a single raster file in QGIS. So the workflow is going to be that first we're going to actually construct uh, two multiband virtual rasters and then we're going to merge the virtual rasters using the merge tool. And we're going to be doing this today on two uh, Sentinel-2 MSI images that we just downloaded in the previous video. Our goal is to estimate the size of Lake Powell in the western US and we're going to be doing that in this example using uh, the three visible bands, band 2, 3, and 4, as well as the near-infrared band, band 8. And notice each of these bands has a 10 meter spatial resolution. That's a 10 meter pixel size. And we're not going to use any of the bands with larger pixel sizes. So we don't have to worry about different pixel sizes between different bands, at least not in this example. So our data our, have been unzipped and they're sitting um, here in these two folders. We have one image from 2022-0830. That's August uh, 30th, 2022, and another from September 7th, 2022. And if you click through into the granule folder and the IMG folder, you should be able to see that you have um, 12 different files, uh, one for each band. So here we go um, into QGIS. Actually, the first thing we're going to do here is quickly load one of those bands. Um, why don't we load band 2 from uh, September 6th, and we'll just hit add and close. Um, the reason it's nice to see this, just make sure everything looks square. Um, we can also take a peek at this area over here and see what our no data value is. Looks like 0 is our no data value, so that's important. Um, the other thing we're going to do is right click, go under properties, and take a look at what is our data type. It's a 16-bit unsigned integer. So that's going to be important in a second. You might want to write that down, 16-bit unsigned integer. OK, so now that we have that piece, those pieces of information, uh, we're going to actually go ahead and build the virtual raster. That's under raster, miscellaneous, build virtual raster here. And we're going to go uh, add files. And this folder's already open. Again, this is, uh, well, actually, this is August 30th, 2022, right now. I guess I'm going to hold down Control and select Band 2, Band 3, Band 4, and Band 8. Notice these are the biggest file sizes. So it's always good to check. These are around 130 megabytes a piece. Don't accidentally select your aux file. It's only 4 kilobytes. You want the big, meaty, actual image files here. Then we're going to hit Open. We're going to hit the OK button here. We're not hitting Run, we're hitting OK. Brings us back here. Um, for resolution, we're going to specify highest. We're going to place each input file into a separate band. Um, and I think that is all we need to tell it right now. We're going to save it to a temporary file here. So we'll hit Run. Shouldn't take too long. It's already done. Uh, just so we don't get confused, I'm going to go over here and rename it. Right-click, rename. I'm going to call it uh, 8-30-22. Put the date on there. Let's remove that one real quick so don't get confused. Okay, now I'm just going to repeat that process. Vector, excuse me, raster, miscellaneous, build virtual raster. Except this time I'm going to go to... My other Sentinel image, which is from September 6th. And again, I'm going into the IMG data folder using control to pick out band 2, band 3, band 4, and band 8. These are all the biggest files. We'll hit open. We'll hit OK. Uh, resolution is going to be to the highest. Place each in a separate band. We're going to output to a temporary file. Hit run, that's going to be done very quickly. OK, so now we have these two different stacked rasters. Rename this one real quick. 
And now we want to do our last step, which is to merge these into a single file. So to do that, I'm going to go to raster, uh, miscellaneous and merge. We're going to use the merge tool and choose our input layers to be the two virtual rasters that we just created. Hit OK. Importantly, our output data type. Remember that these are in unsigned 16-bit integer, uint16. And a uh, pixel value to treat as no data. We're actually going to set that to be 0. And we can probably just leave it at 0 as well. So anything, any pixel with a note with a 0 is treated as no data value. Actually, I'm going to leave that blank, not set. All right, and we're going to also um, continue to leave this as a temporary file for right now. This is going to take a bit. We'll come back. Okay, our merge has finished. We can now close this. We'll zoom out a little bit. And we can take a look at this. I'm going to turn the merge layer on and off. And you can see that it's been combined with the other layer. And that's nice. Where there was no data on this right-hand image, it was replaced with the data from the left-hand image. So it worked really well. We can also convince ourselves that it was properly merged by going into the properties and uh, taking a look at the histograms. And you can see we have these four bands, which each have, you, you know, combined histograms. And keep in mind, very important, even though these are now listed as band one, two, three, and four, these actually correspond to band two, three, four, and eight from the original Sentinel image. So never forget that. Um, always worth writing down or noting. Thanks, everybody. Join us in our next video. We're going to clip this and then eventually do an NDWI. Thanks.